Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stephanie Jimenez from the Roto Beast team, and I'm here to present you our NFL Week 4 um, running back picks for FanDuel and DraftKings. As always, if you, if you want to watch our full video, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel, at Roto Beast. And if you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing, please visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. All right, so this week, you know, um, running back is, I think, in my opinion, kind of clear-cut. Um, you know, the top running back is for sure going to be Ezekiel Elliott. Um, he's ha he's been having a rough couple weeks, but, you know, he's rounding back into form. Um, and no matter what, he's getting his touches. You know, the guy has 25 and 29 touches in the last two games. Um, you know, he's he's one of the best running backs in the league, plain and simple. Um, you know, the, the Cowboys are a 7.5 uh, favorite over the Rams. Um, the only running back that the Rams have faced that has actually been decent is Carlos Hyde. And Hyde had a pretty good game against them, 25 carries for 88 yards and two touchdowns. Um, and Hyde isn't nothing, you know, and he's not even in the class that Ezekiel Elliott is in when it comes to running backs. You know, Elliott's way better than Hyde. Um, so I definitely can see a big game out of Elliott. You know, he's been getting his carries, and, you know, he's, he's doing all right. The problem with him is he just hasn't uh, broke one of those big ones. And, you know, it's coming soon, and I could definitely see it this week against the Rams. Um, I think he's a great cash game play. He's going to give you that high floor. Um, so Ezekiel Elliott is going to be the top running back on the week. Um, next, we'll go to another guy. This isn't a much of a surprise neither. Um, you know, if you're playing the Monday through Thursday slate, I mean, I'm sorry, the Thursday through Monday slate, um, you know, you can play uh, Kareem Hunt for the Chiefs. The guy's just been good. I mean, there's there's nothing else to really say about it. Um, you know, the Chiefs have the third highest implied run total. Um, Washington's defense is decent, but Hunt, he's just a monster. We've seen it. You know, a couple times already in, in just three weeks, the guy gets a little space and he breaks one, you know, 50, 60-yard run. Um, you know, that's always possible. Um, his first three games, he, he scored 24.8, 24.4, and 43.1, um, you know, uh, Fandle points. So, you know, his price has, you know, risen a little bit. It's at 8.9 on Fandle right now. But, I mean, if he's going to give me a 25 Fandle performance on 28, I mean, on 8,900, I'll definitely pay the price for him on that. Um, so I do like him if you're pay, uh, playing the Thursday through Monday slate. Um, next, we'll go to a guy who's just been pretty consistent, um, Freeman, Devontae Freeman for the Falcons. Um, the guy's, the last, his last two games has got 20 plus carries. Um, we worry about Coleman, Coleman kind of taking away his, uh, you know, some of his uh, touches, but I mean, he's still getting 20. 20 carries for a running back is great. Um, the guy, he's definitely the prime um, red zone option. He has four touchdowns already this season. Um, he's averaging 4.8 yards per carry. Um, you know, and also, too, is they're a big favorite. The Falcons are a big favorite this week, so they can, you know, we've seen it. What? Well, when they're playing the Packers, they got up big, and they just wanted to run it, run it, run it. And um, that could be the case tomorrow. So I definitely like Freeman. Um, you know, but I would choose, you know, Elliot over him for the same price. Um, we'll go down a little bit on the lower end. Um, my fourth running back is going to be Mixon for, for the Bengals. Um, the guy's a rookie. He's really good. The problem with it, the problem with him is they have a log jam at running back. Um, but I think he's kind of emerged as the favorite. They're going against the Browns next week, who just isn't very good. Um, you know, Jeremy Hill, he was the starter. He only got 10 snaps last week. Um, you know, and Mixon, he got 34 out of the 61 um, and 18 of the 19 rushing um, uh, t attempts after the first quarter when uh, he was kind of, you know, set to the side and they just gave the ball to him. Um, the, like I said, he's he's just good, plain and simple. Um, last, last week he had 18 carries for 62 yards. Um, three catches for 39 yards. That's nothing amazing, but for his price, I mean, we'll definitely take it. He's dirt cheap. He's only 5,600 on FanDuel. So if he gave me those same numbers, I would be happy. Um, and I think this week he's going to exceed that. I think he has a great chance at, you know, getting his first 100-yard game. Um, you know, a big week's coming for Mixon, and it could be this week. So if uh, if he goes off, remember that I told you that, all right? Um, another guy I'm looking at is another rookie in Fournette. This guy's just good. I mean, he was good in college. He's good in, 
the the NFL so far. I mean, he's going against the Jets. The Jets suck. I don't care if they won last week. I think it was a fluke. The first two weeks they got crushed on the ground. Um, and Fournette, I mean, he's a good running back. He's he's getting and he's a, he's a workhorse. He's getting 19 carries a game. He's averaging four catches a game. Um, I could definitely see. Um, the Jaguars getting up on the Jets and running it, running it, running it. And Fournette, you know, he looks like a solid option. The only problem with him is his price is getting up a little bit. Um, I, w- I would prefer Joe Mixon. But Fournette does have the the, the more steady workload, and we know he's going to get the ball. Um, the last running back I would even consider just a little bit would be Carson um, from the Seahawks. The last two weeks, the guy's been getting a lot of touches. Um, and, you know, for running backs, touches is what we're looking for. Seattle's a big favorite, so they can get up and just run the ball with them. Um, so he is he is in play, even though he isn't one of my favorite plays. Um, but he's a solid play this week. So thank you for watching my video. I'll be back tomorrow with my tight end plays. Um, if you like this video, please, you know, give us a like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.